Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're doing an unboxing of Under the Southern Cross, the South American naval battles in the Age of Sail from 1811 to 1841. This is part of the Flying Color series. This is volume four. The system was designed by Mike Nagel, and this volume was designed by Steve Paul. This is listed as being uh, suitable for solo. So there's one to four players, and it plays in about three to eight hours, although its solo suitability is medium to high. It's six on their nine point scale. The complexity of the game, too, is a six on a nine point scale, so. see the southern cross for the first time all right so i have not played anything in the flying color series yet oh we covered we covered another game in the series a few months ago on the channel if you want to go back and take a look at that but this is a standalone game this is not an expansion all right so you start off with the playbook starts out with an expanded sequence of play this is on gmt's wonderful matte finish uh paper so there's no reflection i mean no you know no glare no reflection as you use it um it's only about six pages of uh the expanded sequence of play and special rules for this module um you can see here we've got the age of sale rule book itself um but this is the special rules for under the southern cross it's only got about six pages and then we go into the scenarios of which there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven scenarios. Along with then the credits, ship, gazetteer, and bibliography. So it's pretty dense text here. I mean, you're going to be learning what you need here. You got uh, about gun votes, mixed fleet, combat intensity, and then we go straight to the scenarios. So the first scenario is San Nicholas. Uh, starts out with some background and then you get right into it here. It tells you which map to use, the wind direction, uh, turns at least at least 12, but then it can vary based on special rule two below, uh, who your uh, ships are for each belligerent. This is the United Provinces versus Spain. And where they are and where they start, what hex start where they start and what they're facing is to begin with. So each scenario is gonna guide you through that and give you a little bit of history of what actually happened and then you will play it out. And here we've got some stuff on the commanders or the admirals. So a lot of history mixed with uh, gaming as you go. There's a little chapter on Thomas Cochran or a whole section on Thomas Cochran as you're gonna about to play Thomas Cochran. Very cool. So this one does come in at 48 pages with everything, all told. And you got a bibliography and then different websites you can use. So that's that. And then you've got the core game rule book. And this is a 24 page rule book, including the index. Including the index. And this guides you through, start out with a glossary, guides you through a more graphic depiction of some of the counters and the rules, explaining movement, movement points, turning, fire combat. And then actually you get down to, you only get to page 17, you got optional rules. So only about 17 pages of rules. But it is mentioned, you know, it's moderately complex, so. There's that. And then we've got counter sheets. There's two counter sheets, it says. So this is counter sheet one. We've got our ships. And they are, looks to be half inch counters. They are not pre-rounded. There are, you know, the typical strips and you'll have to round them with a Organ Laminations 2.5 millimeter deluxe corner rounder, the correct tool for the job. Got some larger vessels here that are double sized. You got some markers mixed in here. You got your wind, batteries, fortresses, shoals on the back, recall launch, tow, short sails, hard ground, 
There's various markers you're going to stack with the counters, and you got commanders here, admirals, captains, for the different different factions. We have Grand Colombia, United Provinces are in light blue. Chile is in the kind of uh, indigo color, and then uh, we got Portugal. Have my ship. And all the flags are a flag Spain. Very cool. And then our second sheet here is no more, no more vessels, but just markers. Fired to port, fired starboard, fired both. Flip it over and fired both. You get your sails, trim. Dismasted ships, struck. Colors are struck. Anchors. Shoal markers out of command, adrift, on fire. Wow, it's pretty cool. All right, so it's two sheets of counters. And you got player aid card one, and this is on the coded cardstock that GMP is famous for. It's a double fold out book or booklet. You got your hit results table, iron versus large and small vessels, the half inch units versus the one inch units. There's only a few large vessels on the. On the Counter sheets, get your movement tables, ships on fire, grounding. All right, so that's player aid card one, and then we have player aid card two, which is just a single double sided sheet. It's got your collision table, strike table, evasion table, grappling table, table, break off table. And then for a particular scenario, you got these chain removal, battery captures, wind adjustments tables. It's then we've got our sequence of play. Got our turn track going around hexes, 32. And then your sequence of play marker. Point your wind direction specified in the scenario and the weather. And this is the dual sequence of play. You will survive being bested. And then we have our maps. Now these are just large two maps, I think. No. Several maps. Let's see what we got here. This is map K. And there's a large map. Oh, Duel is, a little sh is apparently a, a smaller game, maybe? Alright, so let's look at map K. They have little sections marked in them. I guess maybe some of the battles will take place in little smaller areas. You can see they're marked. It's hard to get the whole map out. So you got these, you got these areas here marked C, J, K, I, E, F, whatever. So maybe that's just where to help you find locations. And they are single-sided maps, as you can see there. So that is map K. Very hard to very hard to show mount uh, paper maps. J. So these are full size. These are 22 by 34 maps here. So map J. Got varying degrees of depth in the water. And then we've got this dual map. Now the dual map seems to be a little Firmer, and it's a it's it's a full size map, so it's still 34 by 22, but it's a much smaller playing area. You just got this big hex of hexes for the playing area, and you got player, you got ship status one, ship status two. So it's just a straight up head to head duel, and then you got a lot of a lot of uh, charts right on the game map, so you can just. Put this down under some plexi and play some quick one-off battles, I believe. So that's pretty nice. And then we have a single die, which we will go ahead and roll to verify it works, but black one, two to nothing. And then we've got a deck of maneuver cards. And you can see that there's a blue side and a red side. So we got the red cards and the blue cards. And these are just maneuver 
cards for each side. So you give directions and then initiative effects. Fire when ready. Plan a single ship on this turn only. Shift one row down on the firepower determination table when firing broadsides from the selected vessel to a maximum of one. So they're numbered one through 27, as you can see there. And I assume that they have an equal, well, they have a star, so they've got an extra one. Star through 27. So. so, if you pick up a copy of Under the Southern Cross, Flying Colors Volume 4, you're going to get those two decks of maneuver cards. You're going to get the one 10 sided die. 10 or 0. I don't know how it works. You're going to get that 34 by 22 dual map. Two map J, map K, 34 by 24 ocean maps. Gonna get the double-sided turn track sequence of play for dual and or the regular scenarios. Player aid card two, player aid card one, which is double width. Two sheets, uh, one sheet of markers, half inch markers. Uh, one sheet of half inch, mostly vessels with a few large vessels. You're going to get that 24-page uh, Flying Colors System Rule Book, and then the 48-page Playbook, which includes some, some uh, rules for the module, as well as your scenario guide. And that is everything that comes in Flying Colors Volume 4, Under the Southern Cross, South American Naval Battles, The Age of Sail, 1811 to 1841. Volume designed by Steve Paul by GMT Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you, and bye-bye. In the Southern Cross Oh